what we see here is a decreased activity of a, a brain network that's called the default mode network. This network is a network that seems to be very important in process of introspection, in process that you're bringing your attention to your own being, to your own emotions, to your own thoughts. Um, and what we see here then is a decreased activity in this network, in this same network. So when the individuals are under the effect of ayahuasca, we do see a decreased activity of the default mode network. Very curiously, the same kind of results you will find in people under meditation. So even uh, either experienced meditators or people during meditation, in both cases, you do see a decreased activity of the default mode network. One perspective that a lot of scientists are working nowadays is to try to understand what is the relationship, what, is, what are the similarities between the changes that we see during the effects or after the effects of ayahuasca as compared to the changes we see during a meditation or after a, a long-term meditation. And the perspective that a lot of people are working under is the idea that um, they may lead you to the same place in different speeds. So as meditation is not for everyone, ayahuasca seems not to be for everyone. It's not everyone that likes a roller coaster to go to that place that fast. There are some people that rather go to that place at a slower pace and get there a little bit uh, uh, slower. What comes easy goes easy. <laughs>